everybody and welcome to Northern Lion Tries. Still there. This is uh, a adventure puzzle game. I know I said we were going to try to mix things up, but apparently we're getting recommended a bunch of adventure puzzle games lately. Um, they came out earlier this year. I bought it myself in the Lunar New Year sale. It was $13 Canadian. Very positive reviews. Described as a bleak science fiction adventure with technical puzzles. I have made essentially no progress so far. Um, but as I understand it, booting in here, we're a man on like an abandoned space station. We got a computer and we got to just try to make it through the day. As far as I know, daily tasks, complete the routine maintenance check. Click on your first task to expand it and start working on it. Also, as your friendly AI supervisor, I have to remind you that you are being paid per task and not just for sitting there. Do you really have to repeat the process every single time? Don't hit me with the winky face. Use the control panel to carry out a complete routine maintenance check on the bento station. Use the control panel, okay. To celebrate your anniversary on the bento, I will help you with it, thank you. Move to the control panel on your left and we'll take it from there. Oh joy, what a happy anniversary. Start the maintenance check by pulling the oxygen switch O2 on the control one panel. Done. <laughs> Oxygen density levels are okay. He's done it. Both the water liquefaction from cryogenic tanks and the electrolysis process are working properly. Now pull the CO2 switch on control one. Yellow light. That's probably not as good. They're okay. All right. CO2 saturation control is working. Pull the H2O switch. Personally, I would say push, but maybe I don't know anything. I'm not an astronaut, to be honest. Oh, water cycle test failed. Again? Yeah, seems like it. Um, uh, did I forget to flush the toilet again? <laughs> Let me check. The problem seems to be that the check sampling is out of phase with the water spray period. You'll have to calibrate them manually. Grab an X0005N4 debugging card and connect it to the control panel. It's just to the right of my screen. Sorry, which one? Are these all the same? No, no, no. Yeah, it was this one. I'm sure it was this one. <laughs> then, grab... That's probably drop? Don't really want to drop. How do I put you into the machine? Ah, right there, not there, dummy. You got your SATA cables all messed up. You should be able to use the control nine and check two panels to attempt a manual calibration. By the way, for a lot of people, they're gonna be like, this is the most boring thing I've ever seen in my entire life. There's a certain subset of people, we call them Zactronics players, myself included, that uh, are like, dude, this seems super cool. You're hitting, you're hitting switches, you're turning levers. You're diagnosing technical problems and troubleshooting on the fly. You'll love to see it. Okay. See, I'm getting closer. I zoom in here. Control 9 and check 2 panels. All right, control 9. Just find the correct switch combination to turn on every LED. Shouldn't that combination be written somewhere? It was, but Sal destroyed it during the infamous missing toilet paper incident of 2430. So this is where I just click all of the buttons until everything turns on. Hold on. Okay, okay. I get it. This flips everything in the second column. This flips everything in the first column. So all we got to do is like get them all off. Or, turn them all on. That'll work too. Perfect. Amazing job. You've earned $150. A trained monkey couldn't have done it better. You certainly couldn't have done it at all. 
Each time you do something, it's as if I did it by proxy. I'm the AI behind the man. Now enjoy your break. Maybe you should eat something. I know humans like that. Okay, scroll, 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 refrigerator, refrigerator. Okay, thankfully, this is censored. I appreciate it. It's a food cube, a sticky cube of something. Maybe it's edible, but I'm certainly not trying. Okay. A bag of wheat grains. Healthy and uh, healthy. Okay, please eat. Oh. A microwave-ready bowl that I can use to mix and cook my food. I need to put water in the bowl first. That's not a problem. Um, that's not a problem. What you do is you open up this panel. <laughs> okay, maybe let's not. Um, turn the sink on. Grab the water. Let's go. He's done it. Wheat plus water plus heat. Equals eat. It's just that simple. Um, con consume. Apply to mouth, please. Uh, chomp, chomp, chomp. There you go. He's done it. Legends never die. Wait, Carl. I've successfully fed myself. Find coordinates for the most radiating star in a specific constellation. A new supply capsule has arrived. Oh, a monotony breaker. Good. Its angular momentum is quite strong, though. That's a first. What should I do? You'll need to use the robotic arm and hook it manually. I know you can. Use the control motors with the joystick and you'll be good to go. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. Um... I guess I'm... Obviously, these need to align. So that's a, that's a start. We got these aligned. This changes maybe the... Hold on. Oh! oh no, 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 no. The first one's not even close. What happens if you flick this? The world may never know. How about this? Oh, oh, we're changing modes. Okay. Move it. Now that we got them lined up. We got a match rotation. Which to me, they're pretty close. Just trying to, I mean, it's all trial and error, at least for now. Maybe this is actually fine? Nope. <laughs> oh, but they do, look, they are lining up on occasion. Hold on. For earlier, they weren't, uh, they weren't doing this. Like, they were, they were just set up properly. Does this do anything? I don't think so. Again, I can't stress enough. A lot of people are like, I see no appeal to this whatsoever. But some weirdos out there, myself included, are like, oh, I get it. Please, I would like you to be in sync. So you're rotating now. If I do this, you're still rotating. How did I get you steady before? How did I get you steady? Luckily, I've got the guide up. <laughs> oh, oh! It's spinning like a madman. Okay, so on joystick one, it's rotating. Look at that, we're locked. Send it. 
I mean, this looks like a full send as far as I'm concerned. Yo! You know what this is right here? This is a mouth game. Perfect. The supply capsule will be in the spacesuit room. Is that a coffee maker? Mmm, <laughs> coffee. It's like a, it's a mocha pot. Art is a tool. Okay. Lucky me. I suppose. Nothing else in there. Don't hit the red button, I'm assuming. Let's go back to the computer room. Find coordinates for most radiating star in a specific constellation. Use the periscope to find the most radiating star in the Coelacanthus constellation. Write down its coordinates and send them to starupdates-st76 at brainco.m31 indicating X and Y positions and the amount of energy detected by the motion sensors. Computer, can I have your help, please? You want to play chess? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Easy moves. Easy moves. Although... We're, we're about to be in checkmate. It's true. We need to move this pawn up, up one. That way when the rook puts us in check... Oh, I, I opened up another checkmate. That's embarrassing. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is I don't think there were many other options there. Computer, I need your help. Never mind. Computer, how do I how do I find I need help. How do I find a constellation? Turn on the periscope and use the navigation. Oh, you didn't even see the chessboard. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Turn on the periscope and use the navigation controls to locate all the visible constellations. If you move the pointer on any star, the display will show the amount of radiation coming from its direction measured in Kev. How do I find a constellation? Turn on the periscope. Right, okay, yeah, alright. Where should I send this stuff? You can prepare a mail with these coordinates from the mainframe. It will be sent automatically. Okay. Turn on the periscope. That doesn't sound so hard. This is a periscope. The periscope is turned off. Well, there's your problem. Hit this button right here. Uh, look at the hard drive. An interface that connects the hard disk to the periscope. It's a signal amplifier. Oh, this, there you go. Okay. Oh my. So we're finding the brightest star in the constellation. We can also zoom and move a little bit. That's really cool. And so we're looking for the coelacanthus. Uh, constellation, which should be like a fish, kind of, I think. I gotta tell you, I am a sucker for games that build out their own interfaces and tools like this. This is very neat to me. Even if it's not everybody's cup of tea, I think this is super cool. So I'm assuming it is Trujillo. Does appear to be the brightest. Oh, maybe, I don't know, Yokoyama, 8.6, 8.8. I mean, I was just by in terms of like, what's the brightest? This looks the brightest. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one, baby. It is 0 0.76 by 0 0.5 with an 8.8. .8 Kev. <laughs> there you go. Oh, dude, it keeps it on the display, too. Very smart. Now, you are the mainframe, presumably. Actually, you know what? Hold on. A modem. Outputs. You're not a mainframe. I mean, to me, that's a mainframe. But maybe this is a mainframe? This is a mainframe. Take me to Raymail. New mail. Hold on. We're gonna make this happen, okay? You just 
We're going to make this work. Daily tasks. Star updates dash ST76 at brainco.m31. Star updates dash ST76 at brainco.m31. Star. Yo, they saved it. The brightest. <laughs> Surely they just want true helo. See, uh, you know what? I bet they just want. Hold on, let's let's read it more specifically, dude. This will probably help. Indicating X and Y positions and the amount of energy detected. So I bet we just go. X zero point seven six by Y zero point five zero. 8.8 .8 KEV. Send. He's done it. Oh, dude, look at that. They retrofitted it for us. I appreciate that. God, he's good. My opinion of you just increased a little, Carl. What else we got? Set up a simplex communication with Brain Co. You have to set up a simplex link path. The details about creating links between systems are described in the technical manual. Okay. Mainframe, modem, HF antenna. I need to create a duplex path between the high frequency antenna, the modem, and the mainframe to use this. Sitting WASD for no reason. I'm a sucker for a game with a manual, dude. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> this might be a little much for me. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um. Not a very good technical writer, can I just say that? Um, there's like no plain text instructions here. So hold on, what is, we need to create a, go back for a second, duplex path between HFA, modem, and mainframe. Brother, I'm going to tell you, I'm, oh, there you go, duplex path, A, B, C, B, A. So we have to go from... TR2 Yeah, 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 I know. Hold on. Hold on. It's a lot of stuff to remember. Try it again, please. Uh, you know what? I bet we can just click on it. High frequency antenna, modem, mainframe. High frequency antenna. So TR2, TR7, TR6. Which means we're actually going to go TR2, TR7, TR6, TR7, TR2. 26772. 26772. 2 6 what am I doing? <laughs> Connected switch. Simple link. A, B. Okay, well, hold on. We have six and seven right here. If I can solve this, excuse me, I only have four of these. If I can solve this, I'm a legend. <laughs> Hold on. The light came on over here, so I'm assuming we got one hooked up. 
But we need to start at TR2, so it shouldn't it be like... This is, is probably painful to watch, or maybe you're thrilled. Hold on. Six and seven. Catch him at the intersection. Okay. Two and six. Two and six. You, you, you had to try, right? Four switches does seem capable of making five connections. But for me, I'm like, two to six is like this? Or is it, hold on, it's like this! Six to seven. Seven to six. <laughs> six to two. Power down. Hold on, all I need to know, this turns a light on. That's one connection, I'm sure. I'm trying like every combination of the remainder. I've, I feel very Zachtronics up right now, for sure. So, oh, the crossbar switch, it shows you uh, what's turned on. So we need to turn on number two. What we've turned on is number one. <laughs> Put a jumper in junction TRX slash try to connect output TRX to input try. Duh. So if you want to connect two well, let's, let's make sure we got it right before we go down this path, okay? Daily tasks. Oh, whoops. Um, discovery routine. High frequency antenna, modem, mainframe. High frequency antenna, modem, mainframe. So it should be 276. So if you want to do 276... Two, seven, seven, six, six, seven, seven, two. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, apparently it actually only required two switches, but through the process of educated guessing, he's done it. Sure, your prize is the warm feeling that your life has a higher, more exploitable meaning. Let's go. Oh, I need, sorry, I need to leave the links. Let's go, boys. Great, great job. Um... Hold on. Thinking step one. Maybe can you put the can you put the coffee into the kitchen? I must put ground coffee, beans, and water in the mocha. Can you just put it up here? Ah, problem solved. There you go. Get out of my inventory, please. Alright. Uh go to bed. Good, good job. I have to inject the serum first, even if it's not helping with the dreams anymore. I'm assuming that's the serum. I don't like you, Mr. Syringe. You're a real prick. <laughs> uh, use on you. Maybe, uh, sorry, use on vial. Both items should be in the work cart. That's my mistake. I didn't know the rules. It's my first day at the office. He's done it. I feel dizzy. This doesn't look good. Sleep, please. Put me in the bed. Ah, it'll work. I'll take it. <laughs> so we got a taste of the puzzles. Let's get a taste of the narrative, maybe. 
Wake up. Open your eyes. Where am I? Where? Time is not a place. When am I then? When? Time is not a moment. What do you think this is? Uh, a movie? Ah, Esh loved movies so much, especially the one about the girl from the book. The one who only wore red shoes. Esh, why do you mention her? Where is my daughter? You know where she is. You know it so well. She is where the pain is. She can't move from there. But you can. I can't. Turn around. I can't. Turn around, Carl. I can't! Then wake up, Carl. Wake up, Daddy. Open your eyes. Yo, presentationally... Is it very, very, very unique. And I gotta admit, the puzzles are scratching like the exact itch that I love to be scratched in. Scratched on? Anyway, you get the idea. I love these pseudo-technical puzzles. Broadcast message from the wide net. Hey, are you listening to me? What? <laughs> I said it seems there's a message broadcasting on the wide net, but the reception is not working. Oh, do you want a simplified version of the current puzzle? No. <laughs> that being said, I do want to know what I'm supposed to do. Signal strength too low. The system can barely receive it. I have to find a way to amplify it. No, I should decode this message first. I need help. How can I amplify this signal? There's a signal amplifier somewhere in the control panel room. You could connect it to the control panel, then rewire the link system to let the signal pass through the amplifier. I could have told you that. <laughs> There's a signal amplifier somewhere. Somewhere in the code room. What are you? A ham radio. <laughs> what are you? Comic books. Yeah, yeah, don't need to know right now. It's a, that's a flux capacitor. I get it. What are you? I don't know what you are. This electrical panel is not operative at the moment. Oh, of course. It's a, it's a standard socket X1. Don't. There's no incoming beacon request, and that's not a piano. Okay. Let yourself puzzle out a little bit here. How can I decode the signal? The signal is received via the high frequency antenna. Then the modem processes it and finally it reaches the mainframe. Usually that's enough, but the signal is weak. Okay. So I think we just use our extra switches to pass the signal through the amplifier. So we were going 2776. What we're going to do instead is find which one of these sons of guns is the amplifier. Hold on. You got to give it a second sometimes. Could you please tell me, what is a signal amplifier? Like, what are you? Just start hitting some switches, dude. Crank it. Probably have to refresh. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I need some help. Search for a signal amplifier in this room. It should be connected to some device, you could connect it to the control panel, then rewire the link system to let the signal pass through the amplifier. Okay, so somewhere in this room, plug and play card, plug and play card, plug and play. Is, it, is there any chance you are a signal amplifier?
Could that be what you are? Like, what is this? Technical manual. Crank it open. Look at the chips here. Monitor energy accumulators. Overridden? What the? Why was it laughing like a boo? <laughs> like from Mario. XO2? XO3? I don't know, dude. Pop it in. The signal is very weak. I was thinking there's only like three in the book. Maybe the fourth one that is not accounted for is the signal amplifier. Maybe an accumulator is an amplifier. So that would be the XO5. Which I think, isn't that the one we took out of the system? Maybe give me a simplified version of this one. Um, doesn't appear to help me too much, to be honest. Just to be straight up with you. Somewhere in this room. You couldn't, you couldn't offer me a little bit more than that, huh? I mean, I'm lo there's a lot of stuff here. Oh, good morning, Beetlejuice29. Excuse me. Did I do it? <laughs> hmm. What could be the reason for the signal-to-noise ratio being too low? You got your wires crossed, dude. Give me your love, I'll make you pancakes. I need help. What would cause high noise in the wide net reception? Faulty hardware in the control panel that's interfering with neighboring circuits. Examine the instrumentation. Crank it. Oh! He's so good, dude. Is he so... He does not appear to be so good. I thought I was a genius there for a second. The solar storm has shifted and is now radiating towards... <laughs> I still need help. Faulty hardware in the control panel. Okay, uh, that's all for now. Turn this off, please. Just for fun, let's have all the switches in the same direction. There is a light on here. I don't really know what's up with that. It's not the time to pull this switch. Okay, if you insist. Okay, that doesn't seem like it's gonna help. Faulty hardware connected to the dang control panel, dude. Can, can you get out of here? Well, I think this might be me tapping out. My next suggestion is just to turn everything to zero. Or what I assume is zero. I think I'm going to have to tap out of this one. No wonder they offered you a simplified suggestion. This seems like a really cool game so far, though. I apologize for not being able to solve this one, but we gave it the old college try. And this seems really fun. And I, I mean fun in the literal sense of the word. Not like ironic fun. Uh... Like, I am, I am having a good time, even though I'm clearly also 
not doing something appropriate here to solve the puzzle. How about that? Did that solve it? I do want to solve it, though. What about this? Can you, can you disconnect it? The suspension of disbelief device? Anything you give me the opportunity to disconnect, I'll be happy to do it. Yeah, I think I'm tapped, dude. Anyway, this is still there, though. Very, very interesting game that I'm very much in favor of. Check it out for yourself on Steam. There will be a link in the video description below. Maybe you can uh, be superior to me in this game. Wouldn't be that hard for now, though. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you do like it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya!